10 years ago today, I subscribed to YouTube. In that time, I've created over 550 videos. I've racked up almost 1.5 million views. I've gained well over a thousand subscribers. I've, you know, interacted with a bunch of cool people. I've watched way more videos than I care to admit. It's been an amazing 10 years. In that time though, I've, I've shared with you the reason why I came up with my ridiculously stupid online handle, The Headless Rabbit. Um, it's the result of a childhood rivalry in high school to see who could subscribe to the most, most online forums with a silly name. Since we were both using the name The Headless Rabbit, it kind of wasn't a way, really good way to prove, you know, the winner. But anyway, regardless, that doesn't explain why I joined YouTube in the first place. Back when I was in high school, I was a terrible writer, and English was the only mark that actually mattered to me uh, to get into my university of choice. So my teacher said that the more you write, the better writer you'll become. Uh, so at the time, I was a lurker on a number of online web forums, and I thought I'd transition from being a lurker to being a very, very active participant, so I would get a lot of practice writing. And it kind of worked. I didn't become a great writer, but I became a little bit better. Maybe less worse is more accurate. Um, but I really got sucked into these online web forums, and the one I participated in the most often was called SP Stuff. And it started out as a South Park fan website, but we kind of took it over as an alternative industrial music uh, web form. Ever since I first heard Skinny Puppy, I was a huge fan, and I kind of missed the boat the first time around, and I'd never really had a chance to see any of their music videos. On this forum, someone posted a link saying, Oh my god, Skinny Puppy music videos are on YouTube! You can see them! I was really excited because it's not like much music plays music anymore. So I went on and I must have watched four or five Skinny Puppy videos back to back. It was amazing. And instinctively, I wanted to save these so I could watch them again and again and again and again. So I wanted to favorite them, but I found out, oh, you need to subscribe to be able to favorite things. So I signed up using the standard online handle because that's another thing to get the name on. And I, at the time, I really didn't think YouTube would become anything. It was just a silly little site that let me watch a few videos. That was it. And who would have thought 10 years later I would still be posting things and have over a thousand people you know, subscribed watching them. That's crazy. That's amazing. I'm in my early 30s and I've been on YouTube for 10 years now. That means I've been a YouTuber for about a third of my life. That's longer than I was in high school and university combined. So I guess this is another happy birthday to me. Happy YouTube birthday. To celebrate, rather than doing anything fancy, like I used to do a bunch of research and calculate and come up with percentages of, you know, what percentage of YouTube's existence have I been a member for and all that kind of stuff, but... I'm really not interested in doing that this time around. Um, I'd rather just watch the content of other YouTubers who make content that is vastly more interesting than my own. So I'm probably going to watch a bunch of like Zafrank or Veritasium or you know Red Letter Media or something. Thank you for sticking with me all this time, and I hope technology progresses so that I will be able to continue bringing you videos with this level of production quality while exerting significantly less effort than I am doing now, because that is what technology is for. And who knows what cameras will be like in 10 years, because 10 years ago I was shooting 320 by 240 on a, my first 3 megapixel digital camera, and it couldn't even have smooth light balance. It was, uh, and now I can film in HD with a shallow depth of field on equipment that really isn't that much more expensive than that first digital camera was. Like, holy crap, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, here's, here's to the future. This is really good wine. I'm just going to cheers to anything because it gives me an excuse to drink more of this. Man, who makes this? They're amazing. Oh yeah, that's right, I do. <laughs> oh, cool. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me, and stay tuned because there's going to be more random crap for me to come. You can count on it. All right, have a good one. Bye.